New details tonight about a fight and then a stabbing at a high school in Broward County. Police think they now know what led one teen to pull a knife on another. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in Coral Springs at the high school with an update. Carrie. That's right. Investigators say the fight that broke out in this parking lot behind Coral Springs High School today was all over a girl. Now, the teenager who was stabbed is 17 years old. We're told he was taken to a hospital with non life threatening injuries. It appears he's going to be OK. Meanwhile, police told me tonight they're filing a felony count of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon against the 16 year old suspected attacker. Chopper 4 was high above Coral Springs High School Friday afternoon. Coral Springs police say two students got into a fight and one student stabbed another student in a parking lot around 3 p.m. That was about 20 minutes after school dismissed for the day. Police say the whole thing started over a dispute involving a girl. Chopper 4 zoomed in on several items in the parking lot surrounded by evidence markers. We spoke with a couple of student athletes who were getting ready for baseball practice when the cops arrived and sorted out the incident. They too heard that the fight erupted over a girl. I'm sorry, it's over something stupid. It, it's a girl. If you really are going to go to that much of extreme to stab someone over a girl, it's it's high school. Coral Springs police say the injured student was stabbed in the leg and was taken to a nearby hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The other student, the suspected stabber, was taken to the Coral Springs Police Department. Police say the 16-year-old suspected attacker will face a charge of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, and it will be up to prosecutors to determine if he's charged as a juvenile or as an adult. Students said something like this can have major consequences. It's not worth it. I mean, you can ruin your whole life with something like this. It's just not worth it. This incident once again shines a spotlight on school safety and weapons on campus. These students say they generally feel safe at school, but not all the time. In classrooms, yes. When I'm out of class, sometimes I don't because I know fights can break out anywhere and obviously anything can happen. The school board put out a statement today. It reads in part, school administrators and school resource officers responded immediately to bring the situation under control. The school continues to work with law enforcement in its ongoing investigation. In addition, disciplinary consequences will be in accordance with the code book of student conduct. A couple of students I spoke with said they know the student who is suspected of stabbing this other student. They said he's a very good kid who gets high grades. They say he appears to have a bright future. Live in Coral Springs, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News tonight.